Hello guys, my name is Kiki and welcome to my channel. I've been a crafter for almost 30 years, yeah that long? <laughs> but if you want to learn how to decorate your home on a budget while having fun at it, hit the like, subscribe and stay tuned. Today we will be making beautiful ornaments for our tree or you can use them for a tear tray or maybe to decorate the shelf. They are beautiful and super sweet. A part of this video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. DIY number one and we're gonna make beautiful cupcakes and for that I'm gonna use these foam balls that you can get at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use tan paint. You can use any brand but what you want to do is cover the top part and a little bit of the bottom. Then I'm gonna take this cupcake set that I got on a local grocery store but you can use any cupcake liners that you want and I'm gonna use some of these toppers. Let me just get all of them so we can start making our beautiful cupcakes. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom. Then I'm going to add hot glue to the sides and grab my paper and just push that paper down to my foam bowl. Just like this, making sure that it is glued. Then I'm going to glue the other paper that I added because I used two. And I'm going to glue it together like this, adding a little bit of hot glue and just pressing it down. Then when we finish, we will look, well, they would look like that. <laughs> and then we're going to take our 1M tip from Wilton and some spackling and we're going to start making our frosting like this. If you have a problem with one of your frosting cupcakes or frosted cupcakes, just scrape it up and start over. Then we're going to take this iridescent glitter. I think I said that right. <laughs> and we're going to add a little bit to the top and then we're going to make our toppers a little bit smaller so we can add them to the side. Then we're going to grab this beautiful ornament hooks that I got from Walmart, 98 cents, and flatten down the top part. That's the top part, but I used it as the bottom part. <laughs> then we're going to take this beads that I got from Amazon and we're going to add it to the top like a cherry. After we do that, we're going to take pieces of the candy canes from Dollar Tree that I cut using my, those were miter shears, yeah. And I'm going to glue them like this. I'm sorry, I don't have the footage for that, but I lost it. <laughs> then I'm going to take these beautiful sprinkles that I got from Amazon and I'm going to start adding them like this all around it. Just like that, I'm going to go all around my cupcake and when I finish with that, I'm going to leave a couple of them without and some with the sprinkles. And here you can see them and they are looking so beautiful, but I want to know what you think, so let me know in the comments below. DIY number two, and we're going to make beautiful lollipops. And for that, I'm using this paper plates that I got from Walmart and I'm cutting the border, just the border like this. When I finish with that, we will have the base and we're going to add this straws that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue it like this. Then I'm going to take the ornament hook and I'm just going to glue it like this with the top for the bottom <laughs> because I just love that swirly thingy on the top. Then I'm going to take my 1M Wilton tip in a piping bag and I'm going to fill it with lightweight spackling. Just remember to use lightweight spackling. You can use it uh, the one from Dollar Tree. And also I'm going to use that red paint and that was flag red. And I'm just going to drip a couple of drops like this on three of the sides, four of the sides, I'm sorry. On four of the sides, just like that, making sure that it drips to the bottom, adding enough paint so it drips. After I finish with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spackle and I'm going to fill my piping bag using my spackle, just being careful that I'm not spreading the paint. So after I finish with that, we have our piping bag ready. And I'm going to get rid of the excess that I have on the top of my piping bag, just like this. Then we're going to start piping on our plate, just like this, going all around. As you can see, I did here. Now let's make another one and you will see that when you start doing them, the next one will have less red and the next one will have a little bit less red and that will go just like that until you finish your piping bag. I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours and here you can see it, it is dry and I'm going to use this beautiful ribbon that I got from Walmart to make cute bows for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of it like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue like this and a little bit of hot glue on the middle and I'm going to tie it using 
some of that baker's twine, but first I made the leggies and then I tied it up like that, making sure that that tie is in the middle, making two knots, cutting the excess, adding a little bit of hot glue, and then I'm gonna dovetail those ends. After that, we will have a beautiful bow on our lollipop ornament. <laughs> and here you can see them, and I made some green, because yeah, I went crazy with this technique. They look like meringue pops, I just love them. But let me know what you think about this ones because yeah, I'm biased and I love them so, so, so much. Look at that, so beautiful. This part of the video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. I've been using my mask for a couple of months and I love it. Are you worried of those sleepless nights thinking about the crafts you want to make? Worry no more, Manta Sleep is the way to sleep better and live more. I work to improve and optimize sleep so you have the energy to create your best life. I have the Manta Sleep Mask and she provides you with 100% blackout for deeper sleep and it's adjustable so you can find your perfect fit and it is breathable, it's durable and it adds zero pressure to your eyelashes or eyelids. She's perfect for those naps in between crafts. We have a variety of masks to fit your needs. Now go back to sleep or get that much needed nap because Manta makes you sleep better anywhere, anytime. <sighs> Thank you Manta Sleep for sponsoring this part of the video. In the description box down below you're gonna find a link. If you follow that one you will have 10% off your order, your first order. And if you want to go directly to mentasleep.com you can use my coupon code KIKI10. This holiday season give everyone the gift of good sleep. DIY number three and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wood well, well foam rounds, <laughs> wood rounds. <laughs> And I'm just gonna glue some cork to the back like this. Those foam rounds, I think you can find them at Dollar Tree, but if not, just take any foam round you can find at Walmart. Then I'm gonna take this hooks that I got from Walmart and I'm just gonna add the hook to the back of my ornament. Just like this, a little bit of hot glue, making sure that it is centered, that it is looking cute. Yes, I'm doing them upside down again. <laughs> then I'm going to take some of these foam balls that you can get from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut them in half. But just make sure that you're using the seam that the ball has as your guideline. There's the seam. That's the guideline and we're going to cut it. And yeah, I'm using the oldest knife that I have <laughs> to cut it in half. Let me just finish with this. Cut them like this. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to glue that to the cork of the ornament. Then I'm going to take the mix of tan and this royal gold paint. And I'm first going to paint with that tan the donut part. Not the pointy part that we have in the middle or the foam ball that we have. Just the round part on the sides and the back. I'm going to paint it completely let it dry a little bit then i'm gonna come back with the royal gold and i'm gonna paint it then i'm gonna take a piping bag without a piping tip and i'm just gonna frost them like that after i finish with that i'm gonna take the leftover that i have from my pop popsicles or meringue pops meringue pops <laughs> that frosting <laughs> and i'm gonna do a little bit on the top then i'm gonna take this beautiful ornaments from walmart and i'm just gonna cut them cutting the loop part that they have on the top and i'm gonna add them like this i'm gonna add one on each and for two of them i'm gonna add this beautiful candy canes that i got from amazon let me just finish with that so we can start decorating a little bit more because yeah you know me i'm extra and i need more <laughs> and i'm gonna take this beautiful berries that I got from Amazon and I'm gonna add them like this around. You can use the berries that you can find at Dollar Tree, they will look beautiful as well. I'm just gonna continue doing this, adding my berries to all of them and when I finish with that it will be ready for the next step and that's using this beautiful, I think that's rosemary from Walmart and I'm gonna add a little bit here and there on my beautiful pastries. Let me finish with that and we're going to take snow flock. If you don't have that, you can use baby powder and just a little bit of Mod Podge. But I'm using my snow flock and snow flock. <laughs> and I'm just doing it like this with that. And then I'm going to add a little bit more water to make sure that it is stuck to my pastries. And I'm just going to go back, add a little bit more, more water and make sure that they look like they have lots of sugar and look at that so beautiful but i want to know what you think because yeah i'm biased again and i just love them look at them they are so 
so cute. They look good enough to eat. <laughs> If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I would really love for you to subscribe and become part of our YouTube family. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know how much I love you. In the description box down below, you're going to find the link to all of my social media so you can go and check me out over there. DIY number four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of foam board and I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm just going to make some semicircles on the top and I'm gonna use a better box cutter <laughs> to cut them like that. Let me just finish with this, cut them out like that. Now we can start making the bite mark on this popsicle stick and for that I'm just using my pencil and drawing some semicircles, my box cutter, cut the excess. Then I'm gonna take this beautiful flag red paint and I'm gonna paint it completely just like this going all around front and back and sides then i'm going to add a popsicle to the back like that because we're making a popsicle <laughs> and i'm just going to add it like this then i'm going to take this slick puffy paint in white and i'm going to start doing the drippings or the frosting on the top and for that i'm just going all around it with that beautiful puffy paint after i finish with that i'm going to cover the sides as well like this when I finish with that, I'm going to take my iridescent glitter and I'm going to add some of that to the top or that frosting. I'm going to shake off the excess and then we're going to take this beautiful sprinkles from Amazon and I'm going to start adding them. Those are candy canes, peppermints and gingerbread men and they look so cute. Let me just add a couple of them here and now we're ready to add a bow and I'm going to use the ribbon from Walmart to make a cute bow for it. Let me just cut my bow use a little bit of hot glue like that and glue it after I have tied it with my baker's twine. Let me just go ahead and tie it. Make two knots like that. Make sure that it is fluffed. Add some leggies because yeah, I want some leggies on this ones. Dovetail those leggies and glue those leggies and the bow. Let me just glue it like this and glue my bow like that. And after I finish with that, I'm going to add a hook to the back. Again, bottom side up. <laughs> yeah, I just love those swirly thingies. And here you can see them. And I made two. One green to go with the lollipops that we made that are green. And one red. And look at that. They are so beautiful. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments below. DIY number five. And for this one, we're going to take this beautiful vintage, I think, clothes pins and some popsicle sticks so we can make a beautiful nativity set now what i'm doing is i'm just cutting it to size this will depend on the stir stick that you're using i'm cutting four of those that had flat sides and four of the ones that have one round side then i'm going to take a smaller popsicle stick and i cut four of those smaller pieces as you can see i have my stir stick here and i'm going to glue two of them like this to each side and I'm going to glue two of them over here as well. After I finish with that, we will add the smaller pieces like this. And I'm going to glue it like this. And I'm going to glue another one to the other side, just like that. I'm so sorry if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I've been sick all week. And I'm just adding a little bit more hot glue to make sure that it is secure. Now we're going to start with the ceiling. And I'm just going to glue it like this and I'd add some hot glue to the top then I'm gonna glue another part of the ceiling like this and then when we finish with that and add hot glue on the top part of the ceiling we're gonna add two more of those smaller popsicle sticks to the top just like this to cover that seam let me just finish with this and we have a beautiful nativity set thingy then I'm gonna cover the back with a little bit of cork and I'm adding some hot glue like this and then I'm gonna just stick that to the cork like that then I'm gonna come back with my scissors and I'm just gonna cut the excess and look at that so cute now I want to add a little bit more of that and I'm just gonna measure a smaller popsicle stick and just cut it and add it to my nativity set thingy <laughs> and I'm just gonna glue it over here and then when we finish with that, we're going to add this beautiful star that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue it over here. After we have done all of that, you can keep on adding if you want, but I'm just going to add my hook. Yep, 
This one, I glue it on the right side. <laughs> And I'm using it as it's supposed to be. Then I added some popsicle sticks to make sure that it is stuck there. And then we can start just cutting our baby Jesus. And I just cut the legs off the cloth pin. And then I'm just measuring it with another popsicle stick so we can make the crate. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting it like this, making sure that it is the right side. And after I finish with that, I'm just going to start gluing it just like this. And I'm going to make four sides like this. After I finish gluing all of it, we're going to be ready to start painting. Let me just finish with this. You can see it fits. You can see everything fits. And now I'm going to take my cinnamon brown paint and I'm going to start painting everything. I'm not going to paint the ceiling because we're going to be doing something different for that and as you can see we're doing a gingerbread theme so I'm just gonna paint it like this and I'm gonna paint the crate as well and I'm gonna paint the dolls or the cloth pins as well after that I'm gonna glue the crate over here just like that making sure that it is centered removing the excess glue and adding a cotton pad or cotton ball over there then I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to start drawing or painting the faces of my dolls. Then I'm going to take some brown felt or cream felt and I'm just going to get them dressed like this. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to roll it around like that. Then I'm going to take some twine, so very baker's twine, after I cut the excess and I'm going to tie it to the middle of the doll like this to make sure that those leggies go down I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue over here and glue them like this I repeat the same steps with Maria or Mary and I'm just gonna add her veil and for that I'm just measuring a stiffer kind of felt and I'm gonna glue it like this and then I'm gonna cut all the excess felt that I have there you saw it and now I'm gonna take my baby Jesus and I'm just gonna start putting the blanket around him and I'm just using some of that cream felt as well. And I'm just wrapping him around with that and a little bit of hot glue, cutting the excess. And now we are ready to start decorating our house. And what I'm doing is using some puffy paint from Tulip. And I'm just going to go all around it like this, making some swirly thingies here and there. Some dots, some thingies. You can do more if you want. I wanted to keep it simple. And now I'm just going to glue my Mary over here. Or Maria. <laughs> and I'm just going to glue here Joseph or Jose. And then I'm going to take my baby Jesus. And I'm just going to glue it like this. After we finish with that, I'm going to take my piping bag and my smaller piping tip. And I'm going to make the ceiling. And I'm going to make the sides. And I'm going to make some frosting all around and I'm just gonna decorate the top like that go crazy do everything you want make it look so beautiful that you're happy with it and here you can see that I made one of gingerbread and one that it is a regular nativity set over here and you can do it the same way if you want to buy me some crafting supplies, you will find this link in the description box down below. You don't have to do that. You can support your favorite creator by watching, sharing, and liking their videos. But if you want to buy me crafting supplies, this link, you will find it in the description box down below and you will get a shout out in my channel. DIY number six or our last DIY and I'm going to use model magic and a cookie cutter and we're going to make some gingerbread man because my kiddos are my gingerbread boys <laughs> and I'm just going to make two of these and as you can see I'm just flattening down my model magic then I'm going to cut my gingerbread boy and after that I'm going to repeat that and I'm going to cut another one after I finish with that I'm going to make a hole on the top using a paintbrush, just like that. I'm going to let them dry really well. And after that, I'm going to take my cinnamon brown and I'm going to, I'm going to paint them. <laughs> oh my God, that was a mouthful. <laughs> and I'm going to paint them completely just like this, making sure that it looks like a cookie so I don't have to cover it completely. I want some brush strokes on them. So let me just go all around like this. And I'm going to repeat that with the other one. Let me just finish with this one like that. 
and now you can see that we have both of them. Now I'm going to take some puffy paint in black and white and I'm going to start decorating them. These are simple ones. You can go as over the top as you want, but I wanted to keep these two simple. So I made two eyes, three buttons and a mouth with the black one. And then I'm going to take my white one and I'm going to make the rickrack around his arms and his legs. And with that, we will have a beautiful ornament after we add some baker's twine to the top. Let me just finish with them. Add my baker's twine well, like this. Well, I have it over here. Let me just add it, tie a knot on the top. And we have a cute set of gingerbread boys. <laughs> for my two kiddos <laughs> and here you can see them together and I just love them they are so cute but I want to know what you think so let me know in the comments below because yeah they are so cute <laughs> now for the final reveal and here you can see all of them together once more I'm so biased and so in love with all of these they are so cute I'm thinking that the camera isn't making them any justice because they look even cuter in person Give them a try. Those lollipops are so awesome and they look beautiful on the Christmas tree. Go ahead and check it out if you want to see how they look because I just love them. Remember to check out Manta Sleep. The link will be in my description box down below. Go and check them out. There you will find the Manta Sleep mask that you would love and it will give you better night's sleep. And that's it for today. This is everything I have for you. Remember, let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this and share this video with a friend because that's a free way to help this girl out. Have you seen the picture of my Christmas tree? Go to my community tab and check it out and let me know what you think about that one. Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.